In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a Biomart search for R. Um, this is what you're doing for step five for the project and really similar to what you just did in step four, where we use the website version of Biomart to do a search. So on the website, every single time you want to make a decision about which database you're using, which data set you're using, you're going to select it from a pull down menu. So the script is going to be the same thing except instead of a graphical interface where we're able to select what we're searching, you're gonna to have to type each command. Um, in the script, it's gonna start out searching the Ensemble Genes database in my code that I've shared with you. You're gonna to need to change to Ensemble Variation. So let's look at that first step. So here's the Biomart search example code. I've copied that over into our Studio Cloud. And it gives me an error for the library Biomart because I need to install it from Bioconductor. So I can look up Bioconductor, Biomart, and I can get the code that I'm only gonna have to run one time to install Biomart. So before I run the library, I need to make sure I've installed this package. and it's running through all the steps. It should take a little while to download. And one of the things I wanna do is I wanna make sure that it loads without errors. I've met with a couple people over Zoom and I've seen that they've run into a problem where a couple of the dependencies, so those are the packages that the Biomart tool uses, are not fully installing. Um, if that happens, you can force it to install and it actually tells you this in the error message. On line eight, you would just put comma force equals true. And if you do that, then all of the dependencies will be redownloaded into your new workspace um, and it should, it should work fine. So now that that finished installing, I'm ready to run the library Biomart command. As long as that runs without errors, you should be good to use each of these tools. And I'm gonna start by listing what the options are. This is just like the looking at the pull down menu when I'm on the website. So when I run this line of code, it creates a variable MyMarts that I can look at and I see four choices, Ensemble Mart Ensemble, Ensemble Mart Mouse, if you look at the website, they exactly match the four choices here. So I'm not interested in looking at data for genes. I'm interested in looking at data for SNPs. I need to change to ensemble variation. And I can do that in my code by copying the name of the variation database, ensemble marked SNP, and placing it here. Now that I've set my MART to be looking at variations, I can see what data sets are available. The data sets are different depending on which database you look at. And there are 35 choices. So I can look through here and I'm interested in human. So I'll search for human. And specifically, the comment says, look for the short human variants. So the first one is gonna be the one that I want. And I'm going to need to make sure that I change both the data set and the database, the mark. Now I'm ready to select those. And now that I've selected a data set, I'm ready to search it. For filters, I have a list of SNPs from the previous assignment. I have my call.txt, those 100 SNPs that I want to look at. So I'm going to pull um, in the filters. And I'm going to run this command to see what my choices are. I'm going to look for a filter that will want the data that I have in that file. Um, so those are all RS IDs. I can open up my filters and look for something that would take RS IDs. Now it looks like this one would be perfect, e.g. RS123. So I'm gonna paste that name and just make sure it's in quotes so that it gets read in as a character and set the filter. 
Now I need to get um, the values that will go into the filter. So I'm gonna do this by reading in the file. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video for a second and upload the file um, to this workspace. So I got the file on my computer, um, from my computer, I called it rsid.txt. Yours might be called mycall.txt. And I can get the names of all the SNPs into this variable by typing the name of the file and using read.table. Um, so now that variable values has 100 RSIDs. The next thing I want to look at is the attributes. The attributes are the columns we're going to download from Biomart. So I run that and I look through the list for all the things that I need in the assignment. The first one I need is ref SNP ID. You also need phenotype, minor allele, and minor allele frequency. So I'm going to fill in all of those as the list of columns to download. So ref SNP ID, comma, minor allele, comma, minor allele frequency, and last but not least, phenotype. There's both phenotype name and phenotype description. I'm going to get both of them. Um, sometimes one will be marked for one SNP and the other will be marked for a different SNP. So it depends on who uploads the information, which one they put it in. So I've run, now I've saved my values, I've saved my attributes, I've saved my filter. I should be ready to do the search. It takes a little while to run the search. Um, so you'll see that it won't turn in the console back to the greater than sign until the search is done. Um, and now when I click on the search, each of the SNPs has a report. It has a minor allele, a minor allele frequency, and phenotype names and phenotype descriptions. So I can see that, for example, the SNP on line 34 is associated with a higher risk of lupus. So that's how you're going to set up your search when you're using Biomart through R. Let me know if you have any questions about this assignment or any of the steps in the Unit 4 project.